the message that we have for tonight is the blessing of the Sabbath. Last year, during the stewardship week, I am also assigned about the Sabbath in relation to the time. Remember that God has given us twin equal time. We may uh, others may be richer than us or poorer than us, more educated or less educated. But then we all have the same gift of time. Now we have the blessing of the Sabbath. Uh, the focus of our message tonight is found in Isaiah 58, 13, and 14. Isaiah 58, 13, 14. If you turn back your food from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holiday holy day and call the sabbath a delight and the holy day of the lord honorable if you honor it not going your own ways or seeking your own pleasure or talking evilly, then you shall take delight in the lord and i will make you right in the heights of earth i will feed you with heritage now take of your father for the mouth of the lord has spoken i just want to emphasize that if we turn back our foot from the sabbath from doing pleasure from the holy day then we are honoring God it's because Sabbath is a delight. One blessing that truly matters for human life is Sabbath rest. The Sabbath day is a reminder of our origin and that God is our creator. It also testifies to God's graciousness as the loving savior who delivered his people from the bondage of sin. We're so grateful that uh, we are saved. Yeah. Remember, Sabbath is a remembrance of uh, his redemption. And Sabbath celebration is a powerful sign as of our identity as human beings. Identity. It doesn't mean from economic success or our level of productivity, like, oh, I am he's poorer, he's richer than me, or he's more educated, he's he's less educated than me, or Maybe upper class na siya. Kani, mas tahuro na ko ni siya. I will respect him more because uh, he's busier than me. Or maybe I'll respect him more because he has a lot of uh, titles than me. Nor is our identity determined by whether we are employers or employees. And the Sabbath is God's invitation to rest in him and enjoy what he has graciously provided. The Sabbath, if we only understand, the Sabbath is an exercise in a hurry. I will not be in a rush because it's Sabbath day, unlike other days that uh, I'm going to go to work at 7 o'clock or maybe I need to go to work early because my time is just like that. Me, personally, I need to wake up 5 o'clock so I can catch the bus at 6 o'clock. But take note, it it's written here that it's an exercise in a hurry. If you wake up late, if you wake up late, ano late na ko sa school? Unsa ang hitabo? What happened? You will be in a rush. Example, unya na ko matul. Nag-alarm. And then, you turn off the alarm. Unya na ko mag-wake up. I will wake up later. Doon na kayong church. But, malita, you will be in a hurry. Remember, it is. It's a day for us to rest from rushing, from performing and achieving. Biblically speaking, we are encouraged to wake up early in the morning. We even have this, the, the, the lesson for this quarter even reminded us that wake up, wake up, uh, that there's no need for you to, to set an alarm. Wake up because... You will need to ask God's presence, uh, ask God's, God's guidance. So Sabbath day is a weekly declaration by our hearts and minds that God is more important than our to-do list and our output. Remember, we are given how many days before Sabbath? We've given six days to prepare and to declare and to prepare ourselves that and to put in mind that God is more important than any other thing. And this acknowledges a shift in our priorities and makes visible our loyalties. Last year, last year's uh, week of prayer even reminded us to identify our priorities. There's no such thing as, I busy, kiko ani busy. Busy, kiko ana ana. It's because it's not our priority. Mm. But if it's our priority, even though 
unsa ka full packed ang imuhang schedule but if you know your priorities if you know your priorities why not say i i sorry i can't do that because i have this or uh, i have this uh engagement already i have this appointment already the one that will the one that uh, who approached you can understand because you have your priorities mm. and makes visible our loyalties how about loyalties yes once we say loyalty not working on sabbath yes it shows loyalty to god but there's much more sabbath allows us to slow down and rest in god's presence if you are going to take an exam, okay, sample my exam ta. And then, if you're going to study on that day, I tried that. Mm. China ko kayo. I've seen a lot of kaning students banga kana mag diha pagi mag study agad agad. I tried that. What when I on that same day nga take exam. Nothing came out from my mind, Jod. Even though content, I think it's still wrong. So it's like cramming. You're not taking it slow. You're not resting your mind because he brain. Also tried uh, studying in advance. Then wala na din study sa nduol na exam. At least my relax akong brain. And it's just, it's just like the Sabbath. If we will do the things that we need to do prior to Sabbath, then pagka Sabbath day, there's no need to do anything. Like, I mean, if we can be able to do, like, magnabatay, magnabatay outreach or anything, why not make it on the, before, before the Sabbath, before the Sabbath, then pagka Sabbath, when you're in church, then your mind will be set sa atuang worship. It allows us to slow down and rest in God's presence and allows us to enjoy His promise that He is enough. God is enough. Although we have businesses, activities, we don't have those activities on Sabbath, but it's an, uh, that, thing is, that thing will show loyalty to God. Resting in God's love and care is far more than abstaining from work. Oy, if we rest in God's love, if we rest in God's care, it is far more than abstaining, abstaining from work. When we learn to rest in the reality of God's unfailing love, and when His goodness becomes our focus, we experience joy, shalom, and a desire to worship God in our entire being. Have you tried that? You have this desire. Na lang gusto jukik mo simba. Na bisik na. There are times that oh, I really want to go to church. Have you tried that? I really want to worship God. I think you did, or you do. And here the joyful and faithful keeping of the sabbath becomes a significant sign of who we are and whom we belong who we are we are god's children and whom we belong to we belong to god practice sabbath spirituality with moments of peace joy and calm requires much more than abstaining from work on the seventh day it involves deliberate planning that prepares us during the week for the highlight of Sabbath Shalom. That's why we, we have this Sabbath school lesson. Our Sabbath school lesson is a great help for us to be reminded that we need to prepare ourselves for the Sabbath. If we study day by day, we would not stress that we don't have to study sa tanan 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 Isa isa hon basa ang new world o sa mga sajanti pa na siya isa isa hon inhinain o study dili nga ipundok tanan because we have we have we have to prepare we have to prepare for the highlight of Sabbath Shalom by practicing the Sabbath we can become apprentices of Jesus Christ who kept the Sabbath as was his custom the Sabbath creates meaningful counterculture. And Sabbath protects us from being becoming driven by consumerism. This is a stark contrast to our pride and selfishness. I am prideful. I am selfish. But I praise God I have Him. And He is holy. He is perfect. He's self, He's selfless. He's not prideful. Muna siyang kamta nga. I wanna be like Jesus, be like Jesus, do what he would do in every way, everywhere, every day, in every way, in everywhere, in every day. 
we need to follow him. It's a grand opportunity for us. Nga. We have known him and we can worship him. Other other countries couldn't be able to worship him because they will be killed. They will be killed if they worship, if they have Sabbath worship. Even Hans and Ethel, they went to Abu Dhabi. Hans went there and Ethel was supposed to, to, to go there too. But then the church, the church said that they can only worship for one hour in the church. Oh, naganitoy ingon nga basig close on church. Ana, so they decided to come back here because we're uh, worshiping here is kind of free ba. We have they have the freedom to worship. So it's an opportunity nga we still can worship. And remember, Jesus is keeping the Sabbath. If we wanna be like Jesus, we need to keep the Sabbath because it's His custom. I'm gonna end this with this reminder: Sabbath. Is not just a day to sleep and do nothing. Instead, it is a day to worship the only one true God. And thus becomes a meaningful sign that we have reoriented our lives toward the living God of Scripture. If you want to be like Jesus in every way, in everywhere, in every day, that's here I am to worship, here I am to bow down. We are going to worship him and be like Jesus. We are, worship, we are going to worship him because he's the only one true God. Remember, Sabbath is not just a day to sleep and do nothing, but instead, it's a day to worship the only true God. God is good all the time.